Primarily, a colorist's job is to create and build a specific look for a movie. Cinematographers will shoot raw images, which means there is no set look built into it, and it gives me all the latitude within the image. So Claudio, when he picks the equipment that he's gonna use for any movie or any project, you know, it's, it has to specifically fit the need for the project. What's kind of fantastic about this drone is that we're able to shoot in the raw format and come in here and have great dynamic range and be able to manipulate the images any way I want to. It's just nice to have that color fidelity to be able to, uh, to kind of squash and manipulate and push shadows up or push highlights down or just kind of create a, a mood. So it's, it's, I mean, I always like shooting in the raw. Get as much as you can. You know, I went through the whole era from film to tape to now digital, so we've seen everything. But I think the most dominant format that we're seeing here in the broadcast and theatrical is now raw acquisition. It makes our jobs a lot easier when we have footage that has this much range in it and this much flexibility. The Inspire 2 footage that I received for this film allowed me all the flexibility of, of the best possible image I could get. You know, the, the best possible exposure, color balance. These things that I need to make an image and make it look right are there. They're perfect. So the look that we were trying to achieve in this was more of a, a period piece, not completely monochromatic or sepia. There, there's more color in it than that and some saturated color. You know, we wanted it to feel kind of a turn of the century era color film. There isn't one shot that we compromised for color purity, for separation of images, for black, for low light detail, a highlight detail. The Inspire 2 has a, a new feature to it that's very different from the Inspire 1. It has a new SSD system that allows you to mount directly onto your DIT station or your computer. So you no longer need a proprietary application to mount the drives on there. You're able to go right from the Inspire's drives, plug directly into your dock on set, and be able to get instant access to the files that were shot. There's two or three shots that are overhead shots where you assume Oh, you can only get that from a drone. But there's also walk and talk. I would never in a million years assume that was a drone. It, it can't be possible. It's too steady. It's too clean. There, there's no drift. There's none of the, the, the warbling on the outside of the edges. None of the, the typical stuff you get from drone footage. As you can see from what was shot on this short, it's pretty versatile. And you're able to capture some pretty stunning images from this, and they're highly stable. The Inspire 2 definitely has a new place in this industry. It's a revolutionary camera, and I definitely look forward to seeing this on more productions in the future.